Good morning. Uh, welcome to the K-Show. As you know, I'm uh, the Managing Director. My name is Axel Göttfert. And uh, I'm happy here uh, to present you what Göttfert has thought out to come up with uh, for the future. Uh, hi, Tim. Nice to have you here. Hi. Uh, let me give you some uh, uh, short introduction before uh, we continue. What you see here, basically two melt indexes. However, both have different work to do. In front, you see a magazine of uh, different, what we call inlays. These are completely filled uh, uh, barrel systems, which the robot can take over and put it, place it in one instrument. While at the same time, another feeding uh, concept allows to take granules uh, from a relay station uh, to that uh, uh, platform here and the robot brings the material into the machine. This is our latest development. Um, although the robotics seems to be new, uh, however, our company is in the business of automated melt index testing more than 25 years. And uh, the experience gained uh, makes it possible to use that experience and what we have done to combine this with the most modern automation technology. The MR Robo is a self-contained melt index uh, robotic system. It, it does the material feeding, it does uh, the, the sampling and the cleaning process as well. Uh, the basic melt indexer, MI40, which is a self-contained instrument, which of course has a auto completely automated uh, data evaluation, etc., and uh, according the most uh, state-of-the-art technology. It's actually a combination of a melt indexer combined with a melt, al melt elongational testing device underneath. So the strand is extruded. We, we measure the standard melt index. This is it's one method. And the next, these pulleys take off the strand with a constant speed. And at the same time, we measure the reaction uh, of the strand. Is the PVT 500. PVT stays for pressure, volume, temperature measurement. Uh, those characteristic uh, uh, numbers generated with an instrument like this is necessary for uh, software, for simulation of injection molding processes, modeling, modeling exactly. And uh, it, it works in a very high, uh, large range, up to 480 degrees C. Uh, what it is new is we have uh, uh, further develop the heating chamber, which with a significant high uh, increase possibility of temperature increase and decrease. This is our flagship capillariometer, high pressure capillariometer, so you see it in front. But what is significant is that we have combined the classic capillariometer with the barrel here, two pressure transducer, combined at the same time with the extruder system. That means at, uh, that the material is continuous, continuously uh, homogenized and be fed into the measuring cell of the capillariometer. And you call this is more or less the, the, the area of our online concept. As you know, we're not only making instruments for the laboratory, but uh, for the process control in the polymerization and finishing process. So it's a combination of different instruments. The flagship in online rheology is the called RTR. RTR stays for real-time rheometer. Uh, uh, in opposite to the open discharge system, the, the material is fed uh, through a die and is continuously uh, returned into the system. Some uh, two instruments for the rubber industry, uh, although it's called the, 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 the plastic show, but uh, rubber belongs also to this family. Uh, we do have here a classic uh, RPA, rubber process analyzer, combined with an automated feeding system. Uh, and uh, that's more or less the standard and classic uh, uh, QC tool for controlling the cross-linking uh, in rubber processes. Uh, next to it is the RCR75 rubber capillary rheometer 
uh, and it's a combination of a simple capillaryometer system with a barrel, a, a heated piston, and uh, as an option, a tool for, for simulating the injection molding processes. So, this is a short overview. I hope you will enjoy the show. We will looking forward to seeing you next time. Have a good show. Thank, Thank you. you.